so funny. Uh, so many things going on, but it's all good. Like it's all incredible stuff. And I've got this just momentum building. Are your dreams enough? It's a really good question. Um, and the way you phrased it, how do you deal with drive when you haven't gained momentum? Like when you're putting in the work every day, you are creating momentum. You just may not be able to feel it yet. It's those tiny little moments, uh, we call those defining moments uh, around here, that when you're faced with the opportunity to do something or not do something, to do the right thing or not do the right thing, and by right thing I mean like doing something active for 10 minutes versus laying in bed for an extra 10 minutes, when you choose the right thing, even if it's tiny, even if it's small, that's what creates and maintains that momentum is the constant choice of doing the right thing even when it's not easy. Like momentum is one of those things that until that, like you're pushing that ball, that rock up the hill, and it's not until you get to the top and you feel it start rolling on its own that you're like, oh, now I have momentum. But the reality is when you're pushing that boulder up a, up a hill, by staying in constant motion, that is momentum. Because think about it, you're pushing a ball up a hill, boulder up a hill, if you stop, it takes momentum to get back started. It's harder to get that thing back rolling. So you are creating momentum uphill. It's just not until the downhill portion where you actually like feel that momentum. You're like, oh my gosh, because now things are happening and, and success is coming and, and all this stuff. But momentum is created in that struggle and in that pain and in that discomfort. And so, you know, are dreams enough? Maybe. Um, I think it depends on what that dream is connected to, like the why behind it. If you have a big enough why, then you don't have to worry about it because you can always focus back on your why. When things start getting tough, when obstacles arise, which they will, they always do, you can think back to your why and then it pushes you through. It helps you to persevere. It helps you push through those tough times. And having a reason comes from knowing why. Mm -hmm. And so it really, that's, you know, that's where for me it starts is what's the why behind me doing something. So the why behind the action, the why behind doing something on purpose. But when it's difficult and you don't want to get up, when you don't want to do the things that you need to do to get there and you're not feeling that momentum, it's going to be so easy to quit when it's just fixated on this dollar amount goal. But when you start fixing your mind on what is that $100,000 lifestyle for my family or for myself? Like, what does that feel like? What does that look like? Like, what is my family dynamic? Like, what is the environment am I in when I hit that? Those are the things that when you get up in the morning and you're like, oh, I got to do this work. I don't want to do it. But, oh, man, remember where my family's going to be when I hit this goal. Or remember where, you know, the place that I'm going to be at once I'm there. Like, start getting a little bit more detailed in your goals and dreams. Um, and that's what's going to push you through. But that momentum, that momentum is, is happening every second that you are working. Every second that you are moving towards what you ultimately want is momentum. It's just that you don't feel it until it gets easier.